Saturday, and we got seven games for you on tap. My name is Andrea Sachinka, and you're watching the KHL Update. First off, as in Hamaro Square Moore hosts SKA St. Petersburg. Artyom Zup is making his debut tonight for St. Petersburg, and he's gonna face his former team right away. Now scoring in the first, he'll pick it up from the second. Vital Artyom sends the puck along the ring. Thomas Zograna steals it for Patrick Hursley. He gets on his Jets, and he beats him to start for his tenth of the season. I'm gonna take a one nothing lead. Uh, just 33 seconds later, SKA tie it up. Sergei Shiroka buries the rebound past Yuka Metzla. Tie game, one one is on the board. And early in the third period, Shiroka scores his second of the night and 11th of the year. In four games after coming back from an injury, Shiroka has three goals and four points. And that proves to be enough for SKA to get a win. 2 1 is the final on this one. To Vladivostok now, where Armino holds Red Army. Nine minutes into the game, Armino will get on the board with a power play marker. Robert Sabolich goes for the puck and he sends it in with a laser beam on shot. James Wisniewski picks up an assist on the play and Armino with 1 0. Red Army tied it up early in the second. Valerie Nichushka literally walks into the net with the puck and they're gonna count it. It's a 1 1 hockey game now. Head to the third and Red Army grab the lead. Rob Patra finishes off a great passing play and he has his 12th goal of the year. That's a powerful goal and Red Army leads 2 1. And it's later, Armour will bring it all back to even again. And you've got the Slabotsa picks up his second assist of the night as he feeds James White for a one timer. This one is set at two now. Now with just four seconds remaining in regulation, Valerie Nichushkin does it again. He scored on Dano Amaska on the dying seconds of regulation, and he's done it again on Vladivostok as well. Valerie Nichushkin scores two goals in the red and blue walk away with the W. 3 2 is your final. Welcome to Shanghai, China, where Kunlun Red Star take on Dmitry Kodrolitska and Cyberstall. We get to see a crunching hit by Tukumantula early on. He levels Alexander Rockton and Severstal rushes over. A little later, Kunlun get on the board. Zach Ewan battles for the flat, sends it over to Oleg Kashin. He shoots and it goes in. The play has to be reviewed, but the rule did a good goal anyway. In the second period, the tables turn for Tukumantula. He's on the receiving end of Anton Tizov's hit, and it's a hard one to observe. Early in the third period, Kung will score another one to secure the win. Martin Bakers buries his own rebound for his sixth of the season. Tommy Carfinan stops 22 shots with his first career KHL shutout, and Kung Lun Red Star takes this one 2 0 on home ice. So Yare where Carter Rash can enter Beto visit Nikita Filada and Lara. Not a lot of scoring in this one. Early in the second period, Mitri Sermon scores in a power play. As for Galgan and Janel Zanafrol, he got the assist and Torpedo take a one nothing lead. And halfway through the period, Lara get a power play goal of their own. Vladislav Kucherov scores his 11th of the year to tie it up. A little later, Brandon McNeil gets in on a partial breakaway, but Ilya Zhav turns to the side with the poke check. He goes all the way to the shootout, and Kaspar's Dowell scores his first shootout winner in his KHL career. Perpetto take a 2 1 in the shootout. Vladislava Slovakia, where Slovan welcome Avangard. Lots of goals in this one. Avangard opened up the score in three minutes in. Mikhail Yinkov scores his second of the year. Late in the 
appearance, Long and tie it up. Andre Mizar shoots from the point, Radek Smolnak picks up the rebound, hits Jeff Tate, and he puts it home. Wyatt tied up to first. Just 90 seconds into the second period, Avangar regains the lead. Anton Bordasov shoots right up a one face up in his closest tenth of the season. T1 Avangard now. 15 minutes later, Slovan leaving it up again. Kalchik Kuros for his eighth of the year while Zhigi Yaglic and Pachi Brustek pick up the assist. Tie game up to second as well. Here is the third period. Avangard gets the third lead of the night. Vladimir Sabatko with the goal. Igor Martinov with the assist. 3 2 Avangard now. Uh, just 23 seconds later, Slovan bring it all back to square one again. Jeff Tate scores the second of the game on a rebound. Nick Plastino picks up an assist on the play. Three minutes later, Avangard scores another one. Alexander Pirozhogin scores the 13th goal of the season from the doorstep. It's a powerful goal, and Avangard leads 4 3 now. And shortly after that, Pavel Kukurkov extends Avangard's lead to 5-3 with his third of the year. That's gonna do it. Avangard celebrating an NHL 94 style as it taken 5-3 on the road. Now in Kazan, where Akbar slays him up against Spartak Moscow. And Spartak get on the board just 49 seconds in. Lukas Wydal scores the seventh of the season on a breakaway. Five minutes later, Akbar tied up with the power play marker. Andre Papa scores his tenth of the year as Petr Malikin and Anton Blinken get the assist. And just like that, it's a 1 1 hockey game. Early in the second period, Akbar grabbed the lead with another power play goal. Anton Blinken picks up another assist as Petr Malikin celebrates his eleventh of the year. Minutes later, they improved their lead to 3 1. Artem Lukayanov dishes the puck over to Stefan Zakharchuk. He fires it on net from the point, and he scores his second of the year. Sparta get within one late in regulation. Slava Lyshenko nets a view, but it's not gonna help Sparta tonight. Ogbras holds on to the one goal lead, and they win a 3 2 on a home ice. Just one more score to tell you about, Nefzikimik beat Sochi 5-1, Joe Gerberle scored two goals. And that's it for your LKHL update, come back tomorrow though for six more games including Jokir and Salavati Live and Dynamo Minsk vs Magnitka. My name is Andreas Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.